Normally, female patient menstruates every 28 days. Soon after the menstruation, there are some hormonal changes which takes place. On the 14th day, roughly, the ovulation takes place. The first half is called proliferative phase. Second half is called luteal phase. So that is very, very important for the patient to have a regular menstruation to have a ovulation. There are different tests like basal body temperature chart, vagina cytology, cervical mucus study, endometrial biopsy, a blood test to measure the serum progesterone to find out whether the woman is ovulating or not ovulating. If there is no ovulation, it may be a cause from the hypothalamus or it could be from the pituitary or it could be at the ovarian level. So we have to do all the tests to find out where is the defect and then give the treatment accordingly. It could be a ovulation inducing drugs or it could be injections called gonadotrophin. Before you plan for this kind of a treatment, we have to make sure her thyroids are normal, the prolactin level is normal, then plan for the treatment. Oral tablets are usually clomiphenicitrate or letrozole, which is given from third day to seventh day. Injections are given along with the tablet from sixth day eighth day and tenth day or injections alone can be given from third day whatever is a method of treatment we have to do this ultrasound follicular monitoring to see the growth of the follicles and then plan accordingly to trigger or to make sure that ovulation occurs by an injection and then plan either a natural contact or an IUI. So this ovulation induction can be given for about three to six cycles, failing which we have to escalate them for assisted reproductive technology, otherwise called as test tube babies.